Yo, today I'll be comparing VR Chat and Rec Room. I like both games, and so I decided to talk about both of them and compare them a little bit. Well, get the fuck out of here, man! I don't want you here. Starting with VR Chat. VR Chat is technically a game. But I think most people would call it a social platform. It was made by the community. The majority of worlds and avatars were made by players, not the developers. A lot of things in VRChat has been made by the community. Even you could create a world or an avatar. There are endless possibilities. You can create whatever you want, be whoever you want, and uh, do whatever you want. That is one of the main reasons why I would consider VRChat a social platform. Actually, fuck that. VR chat is your second life. A virtual life that is identical to or better than your real life. There are no rules and the only thing stopping you is your imagination. Rec Room. Rec Room is like VR chat, but for children and PlayStation VR users. Rec Room has a lot of minigames and most of them are absolutely fucking perfect. The physics are very polished and doing just about any activity feels solid. Wanna play basketball? Feels like real life. You wanna play pool? Feels like real life. You wanna throw a frisbee? You get the point. Unlike VR Chat, Rec Room is way more focused on mini games, both from the developers and the community. You got Paintball, made by the developers. Paintball is just a mini game where you walk around with paintball guns and you try to make sure that your team wins, usually by capturing the opposing team's flag. You can play dodgeball, which is great, but annoying as fuck when you realize people can just teleport around and basically cheat the game. There are plenty of games made by the community, like first person shooters and showcases. You can visit rooms that have been made specifically for hanging out, sort of like VR chat. One thing I gotta mention, VR chat usually has at least 15,000 players online. Currently, when I'm recording this, Rec Room has about 860 players online. There's a big difference in popularity. Rec Room is always filled with kids screaming racial slurs and so trying to have a legit conversation with anyone is imp well, slightly impossible. But if you just play quests and mini games and try to stay out of the rec center as much as possible, this is the rec center, but you know, it's a private lobby, so who cares? As long as you try to stay out of the rec center as much as possible, you'll be fine. So, in order for me to have a, some sort of conclusion, the only conclusion I can give you, in my opinion, VR Chat has a great community, but the devs seem kinda shitty after that anti cheat thing happened. Rec Room has a pretty bad community overall, but the game is polished and the devs seem to work hard to implement new ideas and to actually make the game better, you know? They're almost complete opposites, yet the same, and that is exactly why I choose to play both. Thank you for watching this video. Click the subscribe button and turn on notifications.